all these question awesome. marks? Hi guys, is, welcome back to Tier 1 Casuals. What is going on here? Why is there a second person? Who is this? Wait. Our stream has been made. No one <gasps> I know who it is! And I never get to see this guy. Hello. <laughs> it's a lead Hagasaurus! He is the brother of Hunter Doom. Yes. Wait, who's Sorry, older? I don't know what can see. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Who's older? You or Hunter? Hunter. Hunter's older than you? By how much? Two years. Well, He's two years older? I would have never figured that. That's nuts. Well, I mean, the beard, the beard kind of gives it away, but, you know. Uh, uh, okay, beards aren't everything, though. Like I know, really. That's true. Right. Okay, so, so we got some goodies. Video Today's video is unofficially sponsored by Finch and Sparrow Games, a vendor that you could buy either. Unofficially. <laughs> yeah, you could either purchase through them directly, or they also have a vendor store on TCG Player Online. And I actually buy quite a lot of my cards through them, and I've had a lot of success getting, like near mint and lightly played cards for very, very reasonable prices. So believe me, Finch and Sparrow is definitely a good way to go. And today we are opening two of their mystery boxes. One at the Finch level and two at the Sparrow level. Who knows what's inside them? I don't. Well, that's a little bit of background. I went there one day and I saw these boxes and decided to buy one. Well, I bought a hundred dollar one to begin, but now I have this one. So yes. Yep. It's these are going to be very interesting. I have no idea what's in them. Who could just showed up? I, 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 I... Ah, there's a there. Ah. Hey, man. Hey, buddy. Welcome. Did he just get home? Welcome. Literally. Yay! <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. Oh, anyway. I oh, do apologize if this quality is kind of ass. I am at my That's new fine. address. Um, currently off of my hotspot right now because the internet's gonna get fixed tomorrow, hopefully. Um, um okay. I have a technician coming out. Um, I have been the first one to move into the new house. Jethro and his mom are still the old one. So it's just going to be me by myself for a while. So I'm going to be very lucky. Ah. I don't even have the cat with me. Oh, I don't yeah. definitely, definitely, definitely enjoy the house while you don't have the cat. <laughs> or you mean like Annie just being up my ass? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I do have a so, new lamp. It's a little kind of brightish. I have it really oh, good next I to me. I see a few Ooh. things in there. Ooh. Wait, did you complete? What? Oh. I'm excited to see what's in that. What? Okay, hold on. I forgot what that white box is. What was it again? That was a secret layer. Oh, jeez, you got Wait, a secret layer. Wait, you have a secret layer in a mystery box. Yeah, depending on the secret what? layer, those things can be worth like 300 something dollars. MH2? Three, th three MH2 packs. Yay! And did I see a Modern Horizon in there? Uh, yeah, three Modern Horizon 2 packs. Uh, three conspiracy boosters. I never actually got to open these. Oh, conspiracy! Ooh. That's an older set. Yeah, you know, I this want was, a this was the box. Sorry. This was the hundred dollar. Yeah. The Finch level. Yeah. The, oh, the, wow. the Finch box had six boosters. Shit, Elite! I need to go get me one now. Well, this way, this was light. <laughs> that was light. So. Secret layer Valentine. drop series. This is the Valentine's Day one. <laughs> That's ah! a Valentine's Day one? Wait, is that 2021? Yeah, yeah this yeah. is the one that just came out, and I opted not to get this one. Oh, now oh, you got one. Oh, well, now you got it, so too oh, bad. That, yeah, no, really, too bad, open it. Too bad, so sad. Too bad, so sad, open it. Layer. Layer. And I love how they taped <laughs> your extra foil card to the back of it with a heart. <laughs> That's cool. Why don't you tape it to the back? Was so what was it, what was in that secret layer? I don't remember. Um, it was mostly a bunch of Boros cards, like a lot of oh. red and white stuff, all rethemed to like Valentine's Day. So the angels look like really weird cherubs and stuff. Oh. Like Heliod has like a heart beer looking thing. Like oh, there we go. I'm like like if I could safely open this without destroying it, let's. <laughs> No, what's funny is that well, I have he's the... opening that, yeah, I'll sure. show the one thing that I got out of my... Uh, what did you get? Oh, no, there you go. Go on. What did you... Ooh. That's the Heliod. Oh, hello. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> speaking, know, right? speaking of love themes, 
Apparently, Cold Stone has a peat flavored ice cream, and I kind of got it just to see what it tasted like. And there's a peat marshmallow sitting right on top. Oh, a peep? Yeah, a peep. Cold Stone has it? Whole ass peep. Whole ass Dang. little yellow chick. I don't see one like that. I was more like curious oh. what the ice cream tasted like. I, I just read this carefully. This is the foil edition. Ooh. Oh, so you got a nicer edition. Hello. Yeah, I got, the, I got the more expensive secret layer. I don't know how much the Valentine's Day one is worth, honestly. Uh, you might want to look it up. Maybe. Yeah, th this might just stay sealed. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, my glasses looked a little tilted in the cam, so I had to fix it. Yeah. Simon just opened his, uh, his Finch level, and he got that. I opened the Finch level in the beginning before I bought him his. Now I got this card. I don't know if it's actually visible on the screen. Not as but much, yeah. but just explain what it is. It's the um, Oblivion Stone, but it's... What do you call this kind of art again? This one is the Kaladesh Invention. One, 30, uh, one of either 30 or 45 pre-selected artifacts from Magic the Gathering's history given specialized art treatment. They were typically found in only one out of four booster boxes back when either Kaladesh or Aether Revolt, depending on which set it was from, came out. All right. If you were very, very lucky, you got one of these. Yes. We should know, but... Because we later found a pack of Aether Revolt, or no, uh, Chrono had Kaladesh. He forgot he opened an invention and found his simulacrum in it. He has a Kaladesh sad robot. Also, Heliod comes with a bunch of goblins. Nice. Those are cool. I love goblins. Yeah. No, so the question this... is, how much is that bad boy? Is so this retail it? is roughly 80. 80 bucks? A lot. 80 bucks alone, yes. Nice. Just because of the art. Yeah. The original Kaladesh. card is like five bucks. But Kaladesh inventions are special. If you want a yeah. really terrifying thing to look nice. up, look up the Kaladesh invention Soul Ring. Oh, I think. I'm trying to remember what that Soul one looks Ring? like. It, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, excuse but me. But the last time I saw it. Oh, it is. Ugly close up on my face. Fast. Last time I saw the Kaladesh Soul Ring, it was going for about 800 plus dollars. That sounds about right. Whew. Invention. Right. I just like eat mac and cheese right now because I am currently horned. There's nothing in this house. Oh, right yeah. Now. Actually, they're $1,000 now. Yeah, that's what I figured. Woo! It, um, I'm assuming it's this one that you're talking about. Well, I can't see my screen. That one. Yes, that beautiful golden ring. That's that's a like the hour, that almost looks like the Iris Sauron right there. On it. Just Holy $1, shit! Yeah, That's I have Sauron's worth a lot. That is a lot of money. But now we got two of these. Uh, Elite, you want to take first crack at your box? As, as our guest of honor, okay, I suggest also, I'm, that... just, I'm just going to make a side of fry a little bit inside. You know, just just a little bit. No, no. It makes me happy. I'm a part of the Horde, too. I <laughs> Liver Queen. Oh, my God. I managed to actually get, get this at Finch and Sparrows, too. So that's also why I was there. So anyways, let's... If you have a I'll link for me to that. that, you can link it to me later, and I'll add it into the uh, description. The what? The Finch and Sparrow website. Yeah, we'll add a link. Yeah, we can probably do that. Yeah, give me, we'll give me we'll the link for we'll that, and link. I'll add it in. We'll, we'll add a link in the show notes. Just note, these blind boxes were not available, like, on their online store. This was... They are not. Yeah, you actually this have to had to be done in person. Yeah, you kind of have to live out here to get them. <laughs> well, and everyone probably knows about them because they were on the news for the whole debacle. Yeah, the break-in with the whole Black Lotus. Yeah, the guy walked out with it. Yeah. Oh, that was that? That was yeah. that store. That, that was that, that, was, that. that was... when you were telling me about that. That was from them? Yep. Yeah, that was that story. Oh, they got, my God. They got screwed. Did they, every, did they ever track down where that Black Lotus went? No, not that I know of. Uh, I think this. I think it's the story's still developing, but believe me, people kind of well, know. But the problem with stealing a Black Lotus, there's so few of them that they can track them pretty easily, and if someone tries to sell it on the open market, they will not. They will swoop they, in on your they ass. They easily know where it came from because there's so few of them. But the only way you can get to it is selling it on another market, which I'm not going to mention. Anyway. I mean, it's even harder to move that one in particular because if I remember correctly, that one is signed. So. Yes, it was a signed one. I forgot who signed it. It was, like, I think by one of the artists or something like that. Of I, I want to say the original, the original artist, Christopher Rush, prior to his passing, was the man who signed it. 
So, yeah. so, so if going, that one particularly is moved, oh, they're gonna know because it's signed. Oh yeah. Oh, That's yeah. the yeah. There's no way this guy is gonna get away with that. So it's somebody's possible. hiding it because they can't be able. They can't move it easily. Yeah. All right. So I'll, I just open right. mine. Open. I think. Did I open mine? Yes, I did. Yes, you okay. did. All right. So All right. let's see what you. I have my camera angled correctly for this, so hopefully it. it... I kind of want to see a collector's box in there. What is that? What the hell is that? I see multiple boxes. I do too. I opened it, so that's why I don't know what's in it. What the heck? You got oh, I figured that was... Oh, what the heck is that? What the hell? Wait, That so... is a full box of Ravnica. Oh. Ravnica and I got a... Oh, what the heck is this one? Fuck, I want oh, a boy. blind box now. Holy shit, are you I kidding me? I don't know what that is. That's a pack of... Oh. I don't know oh what my that is. god, that is, what is old. That? Wow. I don't know what set this is. It doesn't say. <laughs> Holy shit. Elite, I'm going to need you to get that me is... some. <laughs> I'm I think so that's... curious. I, I believe they went with the red design for a fourth edition. This might be a fourth edition pack. Oh, well, let's see. Does it say back on here somewhere? I know it's not Chronicles. Yeah, you may have to match it up with a year. Yeah, there, there's nothing on here that kind of describes. You know what? 1995. Wait, no, no, not 1995. Yeah, 95 would be appropriate. Well, that that's what the copyright says, but that's Wizards of the... Oh. Oh, yeah, copyright 1995. Okay, we'll okay. do a little more digging, and we'll probably put this in the show notes, too. We'll figure out what that pack is. I do believe that's fourth. We have a questionable pack of unknown origin. Oh, yeah, two years later. Two years later. Yeah, so I have no idea what this is, so we'll look it up later. It is, comment below. But, we sure as hell don't. Uh, these are these are these are uh, are these Eclipse? No, these are not Eclipse. No, they're Game Genix. They're, no, they're still so good. Hey, you get a full set of um sleeves. Well, that's yeah, not kind of handy. For a uh, Orc Manor deck, yeah. Ooh. And then this. Yeah, full box of Ravnica. I think. Yep, is a. Is this Ravnica you said? It it's one like of the Ravnica. It. It it's one of the Return to Ravnica. Oh, oh it's cool. a Return to Ravnica. Yeah, it's a Return it. to Ravnica set. In RTR box, hell yeah. <laughs> Damn it! I can't it's... remember what the what the most expensive card in this one was. I mean, I think Return to Ravnica brought abrupt decay back and stuff like that. So, like, we got we got goodies in it. Oh, actually, this one also has Planeswalkers, I think, too. And we also have to look out for the ever wonderful Shocklands. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that, that's where the power is in this one. Yeah. Five of the Shocklands oh. in this one, five in the other one. I had a feeling one of these would be in here because of how heavy this, this thing was. <laughs> like, the hell is in this box? I was feeling. <laughs> All right, Skyo, your turn. Open yeah. yours. And while we do that, I'm going to look up this pack and see what the heck it is. What? You have a commander oh. box. I see a card in the back corner, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, hold on. I see a graded something. Let's do this in Excuse order. Excuse me! I see a graded something. That isn't just a case. How that dare is a, me? That's a graded case. Excuse that's a graded me? Case. You sure? You have a graded... You got that's graded it, card. Elite. I need you to procure oh, me guys, one of these. Guys, guys, guys. I see the letters PSA on it. Oh, that's, oh. A, that's a good rating system. I, I only oh. see the back of it right now. We're, we're oh. not gonna, we're not gonna do it. Oh, anything. this is so Wait, cool. What does PSA, again? What does it stand for? Uh, PSA was one of the original grading services. It was PSA and Beckett back in the day. Beckett yeah, was another one, right? Now there's another. Uh, one. Now there was another one. Oh God, I can't remember the name right now. But yeah, we're, um, PSA is one of the oldest ones. They originally did sports cards only. Yeah, and so they're the ones, one of the most reliable ones on grading cards, technically. Very much. Like, like these guys. Ones, I guess. You can... But, uh, I guess Brian gets another new deck. I just bought him the vehicles one. So. <laughs> I, just, you know? I was like, I see something in there. I was like, it's Wait, a commander what? deck. I couldn't tell what it was. Yeah, yeah. I Actually, out of my $100 box, I got that same one. Now, if you break that deck down, it has some good stuff in it, too. Even if you Oh, it has plenty of good stuff. And I mean, you get a free soul ring in it. Like, come on. Gruel is one of the 
I, I think gruel is one of the best starting colors. If Actually, you're gonna, if you're gonna um, watch out for a card in there. There's like a ten twenty dollar card in there. I forgot what it's called. It was like, like there's a couple. Lit. That really hurt. I went through it and there was one in there. But uh, what's that? What is I that? have a sealed Ice Age pre-constructed deck. Uh, uh, I'm saying. Do you even want to open that? Like, this is awesome. I remember seeing these when I was little. Like, yeah, Ice Age, so that's not a preset. That's randomized, isn't it? Right from that age? I think the older ones were randomized, if I'm not mistaken. Semi-randomized. Yeah, semi-randomized. So there's a set so of cards, but you don't get every is... single one. You saw those when you were a kid. Do you even want to remotely open that? I, mean, I wouldn't open it right now. I'd no, no I but what, I'm, be... what I'm probably going to do, what I'm probably going to do later, because I'm a terrible person, is I'm going to look at, I'm probably going to go on MTG Wiki, and I'm going to look up the, what was the deck list for, oh, what is, what is this one? Oh, does it even say, oh, God, the magical year, back when these Guess what the price on this was? Guess what the retail price for a a deck master deck was back in the day? Uh, are, you I have about, no idea. are you talking about like our back in the day kind of like? Yeah, take a guess how much this full deck cost. What year? What year? Oh, does it even say the year? Like what year? Because I wouldn't have known given my circumstances as a kid. You know, um, you know, being 95. Not, this yeah, is also from 95. Um, no, also from the Magic Year 95. I'm going to guess a pre doc like that would have probably been like 30 to 40 bucks. No, not even. 995. Uh, 895. Ah! Under 10. 895. Under 10! 895, boys. Back in 95, boys. I was just a little one back then. Oh my god, this is so old. It says oh. a Richard Garfield game on it. Oh, I see it. It's in white text. It's really yeah, small. I'm going to have to like, zoom in on that. Like, bing, bing, bing. A Richard Garfield game. Oh, man. You might want to not open that. No, I'm probably not. You're probably going to keep that in a box. That's like, so cool, though. Like, I that that's, that, that's one of the coolest things I've opened. <laughs> no, okay, you guys are making me jealous and I want one on that. I want it on that fun. That's PSA. I have no clue what the hell this card is. I, I, I have no clue what this card is. I wonder what its grade is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what its grade is. When he's done with this call, we're going to do a, a full reveal together. I have no clue what to expect. All I know is that this is this is really cool. Okay, for starters... Look up how much this is. This has got to be expensive. Like this. Uh, is, you know, let me let me let me do some research. Like What's it look up. Uh, uh, just look up MTG Ice Age starter deck. Ice Age priceless or okay a starter deck. Yeah, just generically look up Ice Age starter deck. Should I look at priceless? Yeah, and, and it, like it, it's got to look like this. Like it's got to be like this beautiful light blue box. I actually like this. I'm gonna hit the shopping and see what it pops up. Oh, Snowlands were first introduced in this era too. I have some old Snowlands in here. I have some really ancient Snowlands. Imagine the Gathering a Sage booster back from something that's called Troll and Toad. Troll and Toad is being sold for almost forty nine ninety nine right now. Nineteen ninety, yeah, just a booster pack. Nineteen ninety five Magic the Gathering Magic the Gathering Ice Age booster ice pack. TCG player currently has it listed at thirty two ninety nine. Just a booster pack. So if the booster pack is thirty to fifty bucks. Okay, hold on. Nineteen ninety five. The Magic the Gathering a uh, Magic the Gathering Ice Age starter deck dis or deck display Ice Age. It looks like a whole box of those deck displays. Currently on TCG player, three thousand two hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Okay. Okay, so if that's three thousand dollars, and there's like how many of these in a display? Twenty. Okay. Nineteen ninety five Magic. This is on Google, by the way. I'm literally trying to find the exact same thing he's holding. Yeah. Um. Oh, here. Oh, wait. I can't. I can't even see that like text. Was that white text on the back? For the the Gar just... something whatever that dude's what? name was. No, no. the The text for a Richard Garfield game is above the letter is above the word magic. The white text just says the Gathering. Like oh, typical I Magic the Gathering. I don't see it on this one in this 
page, but I'm gonna look at it. Uh, it's yeah, on. Is... It's being listed on TCG Player right now, so I'm just gonna go click on that. It's the only way I'm gonna see that. Oh yeah, a Richard or Garfield game. That right now on TCG Player unopened, one forty five ninety eight. Plus, oh, whoever is selling this, being sold by MTG Theater, he's charging a five dollar shipping. Currently, right now, that is a one hundred forty five dollar and ninety eight cent box. I'm not opening it. No, oh. the hell you're not. <laughs> no, that's a beautiful centerpiece. That that's. No, the hell you're not. You're gonna find a little oh, like. That's so you're gonna cool. find one like. You're gonna find like a. I need an, I need an acrylic. Yeah, you need to find an acrylic just for that. Just hold that in there. Yes, but that yeah, is you, a. You stay there. You're pretty. For, it, it, that is a almost one hundred forty six dollar box you're holding, from nineteen ninety five, sir. That, that is that's great. A, th this this is more than just a deck box. This is a time capsule. That is a time I, I am, capsule. That is a time I, I capsule am, from when we were kids. I never sorry, saw that. Sorry. Sorry. They take a phone call. Okay, okay, okay. so was, Ali, we was, did some we did some sleuthing. We did some research on this one. Well, you're uh, okay. How much? He, that is currently being listed approximately on, one fifty. Yeah, approximately one fifty. One forty five dollars and ninety eight cents being sold on TCG Player. Player. Unopened. That's on mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But okay. yeah. Back so, to, have you shown the PSA card yet? No, no. no we, we were waiting just, for you. We were waiting for you. Okay, hold on. Before we do that, let's me check something. Uh, I'm looking up the fourth edition booster packs, and just apparently someone's selling just the sleeve of this thing for twenty five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> empty. Completely empty. Put yourself in the sleeve of it for twenty five dollars. You can have sell for that. Yeah, and so I'm looking on TCG. The fourth edition <laughs> booster pack is worth roughly between it's saying sixty five to seventy five dollars. That's a good haul, though. That's a that, yeah. damn. I want some of these. This isn't fair. Uh, so this this guy is worth like. 65, 70 bucks. So. I, I like that. It's like, he's worth 70, but you could have his discarded man panties for 25. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, I was like, let me know. Let me know. <laughs> ah, here we go. Return to Ravnica booster box. Yeah, you got a whole box. Completely sealed, it's 140 bucks. That's a solid box. Yeah, that That's is. That's a big box. That is a good one. So your box. Completely. And the things are probably like what twenty bucks? Yeah, 10 bucks? like your box completely broke even, which is the best part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it works. Works for me. Now it depends on what I pull, but now the question is, are there still oh, more I, of I those keep... boxes? Because I want a couple I... now. So when I went there, when I bought Sean in my box, sorry, sorry, I keep messing that up. Whatever, that's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. I'll, I keep I'll, messing I'll it up. Um, I'll deal with when it. When I bought these boxes, these were the last two hundred twenty-five dollar boxes they had. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, I bought the last two, and the guy looked at me weird, like, "You have a problem?" I'm like, "No, I don't." And I went. <laughs> like, you know. like, you got know, a problem, buddy? I'm like, "No." All um, right. Well, the next time you ever go down oh, there, you need to oh, help. Oh, and then I still got a funnier part of this. This is actually good for the stream. Um, yeah, and then there was I last time I saw there were two one hundred dollar boxes left. I could deal with on that. the shelf. Okay. Um, I could go there and see if they have any more, and then let you know. Um, Please do, because I will PayPal you that shit in a heartbeat. Okay. I mean, that's kind of what he did, but anyways, um, he still owes me sell money for what the other thing that we're opening is. Yeah. So what was funny though was is when I walked in there when I first bought the hundred dollar one that had this guy in it. Yeah. Right. Um, I went in there. And I talked to the guy about these boxes. I'm like, hey, what? His boss goes, the worker goes, I don't know. The owner of the shop makes them. He doesn't, doesn't even tell the workers. He just puts them together himself. And I'm like, okay. However, he goes, however, I did see, like, a group of five or four or five teenagers come in. Like, they're, like, 14. And they put seven boxes. The <laughs> they straight came in and bought seven that? boxes. Huh? He knows his, if the owner does that, he knows his shit. No, I know. But the owner's great. But... The fact that 14-year-olds came in and bought seven boxes, the guy said, I stared at him and went, where the hell are you getting your money from? Yeah, I want to know where the hell a 14-year-old's getting that shit from. Yeah, yeah, and they didn't buy the $100 ones. No, they didn't buy the $700. <laughs> they bought, they bought, I, could, I couldn't even really get 50 bucks out of my parents when I was that age. 
Yeah, no, they bought three two hundred and twenty five dollar ones and four hundred dollar ones. Guys, now, what, just, what just happened in the world? They're either NF, they're either NFT kids or crypto kids. Exactly. But the funnier part is, I NFT supposedly crypto. heard that the guy said one of them pulled a mana crypt from one of them. Ah! Supposedly, I couldn't confirm it, but that's what he said. He's like, yeah, someone pulled a mana crypt or something. Like something the old ridiculous. mana crypt, the old art mana crypt. Not no, I think it's one hundred fifty dollar one. Ooh. The Kaladesh one, then. Oh, no, 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 hold on. I don't think it was Kaladesh, because there's one in Mystery Boosters, remember? Yeah, but it's roughly the same price as the Eternal Masters one. It would, no, either, have, me, it would, either, have, it would either have to be the full art Double Masters. No, uh, no. So, the full art, uh, let's see, there's a Masterpiece. Uh, double Masters, Mana Crypt, is the same as the Mystery Booster one. Which is sitting around 170. Wait, the, wait, the full art one's the same as the regular one? Okay, my no, not the full art. I'm talking about the normal. They pulled a normal, not the full art. Okay, okay. Yeah, that was confirmed. It was a, it was a normal, not a full art. The okay. full art is sitting around 230 from what you call Oh, from Sounds the like. VI, the double master, right? From the VIP one. Yeah. Double masters, yes, correct. I then love you that have the video. media. Um, and then you have the uh, mana, the mana crit. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, let's continue. I want to see it. <laughs> All right. What kind of card did you get? I want to see it. Wait. What, what the hell is that? that? That's a planeswalker. Oh, nice. This is L Luca Coppercoat Outcast. This is a this is a gem mint PSA ten Luca. You have the PSA Ikoria. ten card. This one's from Ikoria. This one's from a recent set. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Ikoria. But I love this art. You said Luca? Yeah, Copper Luca. Coat? Luca, outcast. Copper Coat Outcast. Showcase. Oh, okay, spell it. Showcase okay. from no, I'm Ikoria. I'm trying to figure out how to spell it so I can get it. Okay. Luca, Copper Coat Outcast, it was borderless, right? Showcase. showcase is, is what it's it is. Showcase full uh, art. Oh, um, okay. Copper <laughs> Whoops. Copper Coat Outcast. I don't see the full art on here, though. Did you type in full art at the end of the uh, search? No, I don't. Oh, it's borderless. It's borderless. That's what it's called. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Borderless. Is it full? It it's does good. not appear to be, but that's still really pretty. Uh, just that's interesting. I was going to say, if it's just a normal uh, Planeswalker, I don't think it would be worth much. But it's a PSA 10, it might be. It's a 10? Yeah, it's yeah, a 10. Yeah, it's a gem mint 10. It's a gem mint uh, 10. Let's see. Um, it's really cool. I've never owned a graded card. Well, now you have what? a graded card. Uh, no. Uh, no. Granted, I should send in my foil etch emperor. You should. Oh, you really I mean, should. I want to see what that grade comes out to. Anyway, so it's saying it's not worth much right now, but that's only because it's new. Yeah, yeah Ikoria is not that old. It was it's, like it's it's also year. the only print of this type. So the longer yeah, it give it a few years, yeah, give it a few years. years. That will probably go up. Yeah, he's still got a ton. Though. It could be I still finally worth have I have my own graded thing. That's that's very unique. That's very unique for me. I don't think it's a graded card. That makes me happy. That is kind of cool. Yeah, I don't even have a graded card, to be honest. Oh, God. Now we got to speed run through the other half of the video. Oh, other half of the video? How long is this video? Yeah, I got him that when I was at Frank's last. I was like, do you want me to pick it up now? Speak now for a hold your piece. Yeah, this thing, which will eventually be a cube. So... Make it a comic book. This will be fun. Oh, uh, so, so, guess what I got out of, um, because I bought a comic Awa set yeah. booster. So, these are the cars that, the most expensive ones that I pulled out of this thing. So, I pulled that. That's from the list. Damn, hi, Aura Shards. Yeah, Aura Shards. Like, 15 bucks, 10, 15 bucks, I think, for that guy. I got the new, uh, what you might call it? Ah, oh, farewell. The new white um, exile spell. It's so good. Jethro got Dude, that on his birthday box. The other one, so bad. I do have this guy, but I also got the border, uh, the the all art border of him, borderless of him. So I have that dragon. Yeah. 
And then I got, I did get the the one that everyone's wanting right now. This guy. Paseju. Paseju. I got him. It is like a twenty dollar card. It's ridiculous. $20. And then I got the other one, the Shrine Commander. Oh hey, give Shinto. All right. Since we already know what's kind of in Kamigawa, I'm gonna speed run through these boosters. I'll at the very least show off the lands because they're always pretty. They yeah, those pretty lands are random. Random. yeah, those. Like, I want the swamp ones. They're pretty. The what? The swamp lands in um, Kamigawa are really pretty. I got really a few cool. foil ones off my packs. Nice. So I'm happy. Okay. Yeah, Jeff Let's pulled. Um, Jethro pulled a emperor, but not the one that Skyo pulled. But he still got one, and it's like eighty bucks. Like eighty four bucks. Skyo die. Nice. Ooh. That is a full art eater virtue. Hello. That is going into light paws. That is pretty. That's that a reality, reality chip. chip. That's a reality oh, chip. chip. That's a foil borderless reality chip. <laughs> Wait. Isn't that that's not from that, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It just yeah. came out. Reality chip I, I is very. The, uh, the, the, the universe wants me to build a Jenga Taxis deck. That's what I'm being told right now. If you get the Frexian Jenga Taxis, that's going to be funny. It's the light. You oh, if I, get that one. If, if I get Frexian Jenga Taxis, I am definitely building mono blue Jenga Taxis. I'm going to steal all your stuff. Oh, I'm going to steal all your shit. Uh, your, your stuff is my stuff. Our stuff, comrade. Sorry. <laughs> if you open those MH2 packs, be sure to pull anything out of them that can go into chat, thing. Oh, good. A new, a new, uh, very new, very happy foily planes. Foily planes. You foily okay, let's, my get, planes? To, let's get to the good stuff. Foil Kodama. Oh. I, I love new green Kodama. Oh. Swift reconfiguration. That's perfect. I need one for light paws anyway. Oh, that's a, that's a, there you go. Oh, hello. You Big you bar. We got big bar. And the ultra. Oh, we got a march. Those are good. The marches yeah. are kind of interesting. Yeah. So the white march is worth like eight bucks right now. That's that weird. That star he pulled was worth something too. Yeah. So I have four of them. Okay. I got four of them out of the box. I'm like, oh, sweet. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Money. <laughs> Money. Well, the white one's kind of broken. The black—you got the black one, right? The yeah. Small one? yeah. I got the black one, and I've opened the green one. I think the gr what's the green one called? March of what? March of. Something? I do not. I do not know. Uh, like, March of Reckless Joy. No. No, that's the red one. <laughs> uh, I think it's Virgin. Yeah, Virgin Life. There you go. Eh, that's not worth two marks. You pretty. I don't know pretty. why the white ones worth so much though. Uh, Ask the question for why uh, why that other guy time. is like expensive for his red color. Fucking he needs to. Well, well, the, 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 the entire oh, dragon cycle is gonna be expensive. He That's pulls cool. That's all. freaking he needs to. I'm gonna lose my mind. Light paw. Light paw. Light paw. Light paw. It's a Kieran. I got a pony. He got a pony. <laughs> Cloud steel okay. Kieran. Yeah, no. So the the white march of other, so the march of uh, of otherworldly light is like almost ten bucks now. Holy nuts! Yeah, and I have four. What the heck? Is, well, that, just, uh, is that just the regular one, or is that like the showcase? That's the regular one. It's hitting. Yeah, it's hitting ten bucks. Wow. Yeah. Let's see. As oh, an additional okay. cost to cast this spell, you may exile any number of white cards from your hand. This spell costs two less to cast for each card exile this way. Exile target artifact creature or enchantment with mana value X or less. That's it. Ooh, Ooh shiny. Shiny. Okay. So basically, oh, by the way, Skyo, you're... Um... Pretty, pretty much you can discard cards to exile something. Exile any target, basically. Yes, your, so that's why it's Your broken. Emperor run it, too, by the way. Light pause? No, the Wanderer. Oh, the oh it's one for singularity. Nice. The, the one that you pulled went up too. Tatsunari. Tatsunari, hey. I have one. Nice. It's a treasure token. 
I like the treasure tokens in this set. They're wild. They're cool. Sire, so, I did get a showcase version of March of Otherworldly Light too. I was gonna say, I would have thought the showcase one. I'd be like, I'd understand if that one's ten. Showcase one is like four, fifteen bucks. Okay. I know, right? It's ridiculous. Makes no sense. Well, okay. Mono white itself doesn't have many great exile tools. Orzov black white does. So Wait, mono white, mono white doesn't have any exile tools. Come on. Well, no, it, it needs better ones. It, it needs it, it, well, it, well, it needs ones other than creatures. Yeah. That's the thing. Because they have Path to Exile and Swords of Plowshare, which are just standard. Yeah. They need other ones in that. Good. God, I love these packs. This cube's going to be very pretty when this is all done. Me and John are having issues opening his packs on his uh, on uh, April Fool's. Ninja! Like, we can't open these! <laughs> That's a second March of Sorrow. Hello. Hi. Voice. I have a lizard. <laughs> you have a lizard. Oh, it's lizard blades. It's the, it's the actual lizard blades. Oh, that's how they do the reconfiguration. The lizards come to life on the blades. That's cute. Nice. We had a bunch of lizards on the back wall today. I uh, named them Larry, Jerry, and Perry. Because Perry was the smaller one. So I made it, I'm guessing? Yes. Uh, I mean, yeah. it's Chino Hills, so yeah, they will sunbathe. Yeah, they were on the wall just sunbathing, chilling out. I don't know why I named them. I just thought it was hilarious at the time. You know what? I just realized my conspiracy boosters could have a Dak Faden. They could. They could. Dak Faden would be good. That's a $30 hit. In another part of the Legacy Cube, I wouldn't have to worry about it all. <laughs> oh, the swamps. Even the swamps oh, are pretty. Oh, the swamp is pretty! Oh, oh, Love it! Yeah, I know. Love like... It. When I when I like the swamps, you know something's good. I want the swamp. Because I don't like swamps normally. You're just mad because you don't like my decks. I'm just not usually... Ooh, nice. That's a nice one. I don't usually play black and magic. Oh, cool. And you get a black... Oh, that's a blue card. Hi, turtle. He's a turtle. He's like a $30 turtle. Boop, boop. Oh, lion sash. I like to say... Thundering Raiju! Ooh, oh. there you go. There's Kaito Hi, again. Kaito. Good to see you, buddy. That's the new one, and that's the good one. He's a... Uh, he's a good he's, penny. He's, he, he's going to go into Yuriko is what he's going to do. What's that? My ninja oh. deck wants more friends? He gets more friends. <laughs> I just... Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Boy, you're already thinking about making another deck. You haven't even finished my Shatterfang. I know. I'm I'm terrible. I'm in the so, middle of seven products. Um, so, I, uh, Pick one. I just realized, I just realized why Return to Ravnica is expensive. You can what? get like Sonic Rift. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Because I looked at the most expensive card in Return to Ravnica and it says Cyclonic Rift. I'm like, oh, like, that's uh, why. That's why. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> that's why. Oh, my favorite. And then you have, then you have the, the lands, too, the shock lands. My favorite blue spell, you don't say. Ah, the one that everyone hates that destroys the game. Oh. Ah. Yes, the one that the one that has been community banned from several tables. <laughs> ah, you, you can get Supreme Verdict in this one, too. Supreme Verdict is good, too. That one's oh, made yeah, it on some iconic lists. What is on that one? Finks Portal. Revelation, huh? Portal is version of the community. A Ganjo, Seed of the Empire. Ganjo. Ogre. Huh? He's an ogre. Mirrorbox. That is a very pretty version of Mirrorbox. I'm sorry, that ogre made me think it was the other thing. I was like, <gasps> Nope, I'm gonna keep my composure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I see that, I'm gonna lose my shit. Only if it's the red one. Only if it's no, the green one's pretty good too. But yeah, only if it's the red one where we like lose our collective minds. Like, like are yeah, you if kidding me? If it's any of the ridiculous ones, I'm sending you back. I'm sending it back with you to uh, visit our friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so, Sio. Yes. The most expensive card in 4th edition right now. Mana Vault. Oh. Oh. 4th oh. edition Mana Vault. Ooh, yeah. I love the waterfall on that one. I know. 
Just oh, like, and a Sylvan library. That's in fourth edition. Oh, but no wonder this thing is so expensive. <laughs> Blue March. Nice. Oh, drum bellows. This thing's actually really cool. God, some of these alternate arts are pretty. Ooh. That that is a that is the foil green dargan. Green dargan. Green dargan. Green dargan. Kura, the boundless sky. Which, with a name like that, you'd almost think it was blue. <laughs> so, Sio, here's a list of cards you can get from the fourth edition: Mana Vault, <sighs> Sylvan Library, Land Tax, Strip Mine. Freaking Land Tax. It's reading like a list of greatest hits. It is really a list. Owly mine. All, all, what the heck? All these are just broken cards. What the heck? They're all cards on the list. They're all No, they're all cards on... Well, some of them are on the reserve list, so it's just like... All it, it, cards it's on a, the asshole yeah. tax lists. You're never going to get them. Nope. Well, never say never. Well, I have one card. It's it's somewhere. It's not from the list, but it's a. Uh, I think it's my. Uh, my... A dingus egg. What? <laughs> dingus egg is great just because of the name. Dingus wait, wait, wait! Hang on a second. I gotta, I gotta read this. Each time a player puts a land into the game, they play dingus egg. What? Such a dumb it's card. It's a vehicle. Why is it a vehicle? Ah, uh, vehicles suck. <laughs> it's a freaking Gundam. I like vehicles. Hurt, hurt. You leave my Gundams alone. It's a Gundam. It's a Gundam. Brian's gonna have two decks to play with now. Yay! Except, I gotta buy him a replacement card because all the red green commander decks are made. Oh, I can get the old Bird of Paradise from this too. Ah! The old one. Yeah, the inexpensive one. That's how you should read it. Yeah. Good fire yeah, mountain. I like it. I like it so it's a little village. It, it is very cute. Mm-hmm. Okay, I... <laughs> Thousand Face Shadow? Ninjas. More ninjas. Yeah, so say hello to the new true name nemesis. Oh, cool. This is the I'm gonna clone something vehicle. So, also, Sio, what's the prize, motherfucker? Ah, are you yeah. kidding me? It happened again. <laughs> are you kidding me? It happened again. Is it for a No. Okay. Keep going. Oh, the Emperor? He had, the first one he opened had a foil-edged Emperor. Oh. Now he but just that... has a, you know, he just has the other one. That's the one that Jethro pulled on his birthday. Or for um, April Fool's. Incidentally, the artist for that one is one of the art yeah, people who worked on, Leg on the Legend of Zelda art team. So. Oh, uh, yeah. Are Wait, you which kidding version of, me? Which version of the Wandering Emperor did you get? He has two different ones. Um, um, yeah, you got the Borderless, I think. Yeah. Is that should the borderless? Be, should be uh, four. It'll it'll have the it'll have the darker sky to it. Uh, hold on a second. You need to stop <laughs> that. Nope. Because there's a showcase and the he no, has, you got the show. He his you, first one's the foil ledged one. Again, pull that up again. Hold it up. I, hold I, it up. I just put it away. Hold, put, hold it up again. Seriously, do here. it. I can tell you the price of that one. I know that I don't think this one's worth. No, it is. It, like, it's the look, other one is um. Is it foil? The foil or is it standard? This one's the standard one. One hundred and twenty. It went up. Look it up on TCG. I mean, it's the show. Uh, you got the showcase. Jeff's gonna be happy. Hold on, I gotta look at it because he pulled one too. That's one hundred and twenty. Hold on. That is that is so delightful. Hold on, I gotta go look at this. Here, I'll, I'll link it in the chat so you all can open it. Yeah, I'll link it to me because I want to. I want to look at it too. Because there's a, there's the. Sh God got damn it! Again. He likes me. <laughs> Freaking Kaito likes you. The blue Miosian. Blue Miosian. 
Wait, you have the foil etched edition? He does. That yeah, was his I first do. one. That, okay, that one. So the second link I'm sending is the sh borderless, and then I'm going to send the third link as the um, showcased foil etched. All right. So here's the also. Link, guys. I just got the I just got the showcase right. march. Wait, you said it was foil etched, right? Yeah, yes. he's got a foil etched. Okay, you have a three hundred forty-five dollar card. Not it this. Jumped not thirty dollars. I told you it jumped. Not this. Not this uh, art style of the emperor. What? It's the new style of the emperor. What do you mean? It, the the showcase, right? Yeah, not the borderless one. No, he, he only has the showcase one. Oh, you're showing me the uh, the borderless one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because, okay. So the last one, the last link I'm sending is the showcase foil etched. Oh, I already know what the showcase foil etched looks like. But well, it, it, I'm just showing you the price. Three hundred twenty-four dollars. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it jumped. Cause when well, I actually, sorry, sorry, that's the most expensive one. It's jumping between yeah. two seventy and three three twenty five. Sorry, it's between. Yeah, them. I think when when we did that video, it was at it was two twenty. It was two twenty at the at the time at the well, original time of the video. So it jumped. Well, I get to tell uh, Jethro that his uh, emperor jumped up in price. That's delightful, Frog Ninja. Frog Ninja. He freaking pulled it. Oh my god. The what? Miojin! I'm Miojin. getting more of the Miojins today. Miojin! Vehicle! Sucks. Take it out. That's actually really cool. It says Commander it's in the name. Ouch. Thousand Face Shadow. I'll have that one. It's okay. Oh, that's the cool version of the Thousand Face Shadow. Yeah, Someone needs cool to pull he did too, okay. just because of how funny it would be. Of the Neon Red. Should that's a cool version of the thousand bullet. Shadow. Well, my cube is going to look a lot prettier now. There's a lot of fun stuff in it. Yeah, uh, you have is that the last one. Uh, expensive cards you should probably sleeve. Yeah, that'll be taken care of once off cam. Mm hmm I can't believe he pulled another one. I would have laughed even harder right. if that. I would have laughed even harder if that was another foil ish. So I'm like, well, there's a second box, or there's a third box. Uh uh, I would have, I would have oh. immediately, I immediately would have been like, "Hey, Red, you're getting something in the mail. You're going to take care of this, and we're taking care of this today." <laughs> uh, <laughs> what I, uh, am I doing with uh, it? <laughs> I just realized Farewell is hitting like five dollars now. It's going up. What is Farewell? The new board wipe. It's a good card. It's a oh, really, yes. really good card. It outclasses Austere Command by far. Oh, that kind of was a, the only other alternative, wasn't it? Well, uh, Serious Command, you can only choose, I think, two. This one, you can choose all. That's why I got class. And all it's of perfect. it... And all of Farewell's modes are kind of nuts. Well, they're all just broken. I mean, it's like... Just straight exile. Yeah, it's everything. I can't believe you pulled another Nothing one. Nothing can stop it. Oh, I have Indestructible. No, I can't. You need to stop that! No... I swear to God, I like I laugh just seeing it because uh, I can't tell from Cam obviously if it's a foil or not. It's Wait, hard. It's, it's, only it's you can say if it's a foil or not. But just seeing Ember going, ha, because <laughs> she's still expensive. Sorry, and, how many how many <laughs> of these packs? Are you? Sorry, how many packs do you have? Uh, I just opened the last of my collector's boosters. Oh, okay. Yeah, he yeah, was going we, through the. I, I was I was just rifling through the back. It's like, it's like since we already know what's in most of this, let's just go through the hits in the back. Mm -hmm. Also because I wasn't a time crunch. Yeah, he has to uh, do something called work. Yeah, uh, uh, I am. I'm just. I am a terrible person who must be a wage slave to the graveyard shift. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Eleven yeah, to seven, right? Good. Yeah. It's You're gonna be up when I have to get up. I have to get oh, so, also, uh, I was saying that uh, these packs, the cool thing about them is unlike the alpha and beta ones, you can't search them. Yeah, right. Yeah. You so just hold on to that. You well, know. You, should, should I tell you, you know, you know about the whole searching, right, that they do with these? Yeah. Yeah, the alpha and beta packs. Maybe. Do you actually know how they do it? No, what do they do? So, I'm not going to... I'm not going to really show you with the pack, but the old alpha and beta packs were kind of a hollow foil that you could see through, mm -hmm. right, up in the corners. So what people would do is they'd push the cards up into the corner, 
and based on the shape of the card or the color of the card through the fall, they could tell if there was a rare card in it or not. It was it was really bad. That's bad. That's that's why, that's, that's why a lot of the um a lot of the packs out there right now are already searched. They know there's nothing in them. I'm out yeah. of peach. So it's hard to find the unsearched alpha or beta pack. Yeah, that sounds like a pain in the ass. But, uh, but the fourth edition, they couldn't do it. So. Ah. Yeah. All right. Uh, but the I'm question is, am I going to hold on to this or open it? It's up to you. We'll see what happens. But all I know is this. Hopefully, we'll be doing another video very soon. This time on a legacy collection. I would, we, I would we, fi in the open it. we finally got a hold of the person who originally was going to give me the their legacy collection. They really? kind of fell off. They kind of fell off the grid in the middle of COVID. We found him again. Wait, so, I thought your dad and him got into an argument or something. They stopped talking to each other. Yeah, and COVID kind of gave everyone the scare. Gave him the scare. He's like, "Yeah, no, I shouldn't be mad at one of the only friends I have." So, is that deal going through again? Should be. Don't Hopefully. know when. So, I'm just gonna be patient. We'll see what happens. God, yep. there's a black okay. lotus in that. But in the meantime, I'm going to be looking through all of these and the set boosters that I got, and I'm going to go through an entire list yeah. of Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Look and up the Emperor again that you have. I'm pretty sure you have a $300 card now. Uh, anyways. His first yeah. one is a $300 card. The second one That's what is... I mean. Yeah, that's what I mean. He has a $300 Emperor but, uh, card. After that, uh, I'm basically going to look and see Excuse what me. I'm missing out of the set, put the singleton together, and oh, I goodness. think I'm only missing one or two cards, honestly, at this point. So the Kamigawa cube is done. I just got to buy the lands for it, and that's it. Lands. And nice. that'll be my last cube, because I'm not interested in totally not Bioshock the Gather. Cute-looking set. Nuka Pen is a, a, a cute-looking set, but I'm, I'm not Bioshock really interested. Bioshock the Gathering. Yeah, no, it, nah, Nuka Pernica is not a... Eh. It's whatever. It, it, I would, it looks, well, I would well, say it has, good lands, it has good lands in it. That's the thing. I know. The lands are good. The, I'm like, I'm glad they're completing that cycle that was started in Ikoria. The tri-lands tri are going to be good. Uh, like, buy a place out of the tri-lands. They're going to get super expensive, super fast. If not, they're going to remain commander staples for a very long time. They're only going to be printed in niche sets. Like, it's just, come on. Do yep. it. Honestly, I say keep that one because it's one of the ones that haven't been searched, and I'm pretty sure you can get a nice chunk of change out of well, that. You, well, you can't search them. Oh, you, you can't, can't search them. It's impossible to search them. You yeah, can't. you can't search fourth edition packs. No, what I mean, like somebody, a collector, or somebody is looking for something like that, you can get like no. a lot of money for it. I'm a collector, so oh, so it's yours. You're like, I ain't touching this. <laughs> yeah, this is my. <laughs> I'm not a collector. He's seen my. He's seen my collection. Great cards. Yes. I'm uh, barely oh. considered a collector what? because of that last CDH match we had so long ago. I kind of quit the game for like eight, ten years. So, Sia, what um, what was the secret layer you got? The Valentine's, right? Secret. Valentine's Day, foil edition. 2021. Secret. Wait. Valentine's Day, you say. Valentine? Valentine. Teen. Yeah. The Day thing. holiday boxes. Like the worst freaking holiday ever existed in the U.S. Oh, that's not it. Oh, yeah. It's a trap. It's a trap holiday. That's all it is. I don't get back here. Okay, let me see if I can find this thing. Uh. Oh. What'd you say? Get oh. back here. What did you drop? A box. Don't drop a box. I'm trying not to. All right. Super late. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, unfortunately, right now that thing is forty bucks. It seems. Mm. I mean, Wait. still, it's a secret layer. Oh, 50, I didn't. 50, 60, Sorry. It's a secret what? layer I didn't get. So. Yeah. That's true. Oh wait, now you said twenty twenty one edition, right? Well, yeah, that was the only one they did Valentine's Day for. I thought. Now there's twenty nineteen. Cool. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Wait, you're right. Twenty twenty one. Okay. Yeah, so it's like 40, 50 bucks right now. But I'm assuming that graded card, if you hold on to it, will pop. Yeah, no. Luke is gonna, Luke is gonna pop. I just gotta wait. I'm excited though. That was, that was fun. That was a great video. Thank that you for the collaboration. Great.
No, I was, it's great to actually see somebody else besides Gaio's face. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, what? <laughs> it's like, it's great other than seeing Skyro's face. No. <laughs> when do we well, ever yes, get... I guess we'll have to see if we can get more of these if they have them. Oh, I mean, God, yeah, you need it'll to probably be a, it'll, it'll probably be a while before we do another one like that. I mean, I assume around the holidays, stuff like this is going to happen again. So, keep an eye on your out for me. If it happens again, then... <sighs> You yeah, know, now, here now comes you add me to that list because I want it's in like, on that shit too. I'd be like, okay, here's here's another Venmo. Go go have fun. <laughs> I mean, I have a oh. money box too that I can't touch. I have a, another Evolving Skies booster box, but I it's going in an acrylic box. I can't touch yeah, that. Honestly, box. to me, these were worth it though. Oh yeah, uh, they were oh, yeah, definitely they're, they're worth hilarious. it. They're hilarious. They're hilarious. <laughs> in the meantime, uh, that is it for T1 Casuals for the day. Have yeah, a great day, evening, whatever, whatever you guys are having right now. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Take care.